So, hallo, da sind wir wieder. Wenn wir eben mein Kopfgeld hier bezahlen, vergesse ich. Schadehafterweise, ich weiß gar nicht, ob es ein Wort gibt, um das zu beschreiben. Kotzt mir auf jeden Fall schon wieder unendlich an, diese Scheiße. Hallo da und willkommen. Ja, ja, ja. Hier, nimm das Geld und kriegst dich. Kriegst eine Kugel in den Kopf. So, ich wollte zum Trapper. So, ich hoffe, dieser komische Kerl, der mich zum schnellen Geld überreden will, ist jetzt für immer tot. Denn ich habe schon einmal abgelehnt. Ich brauche den Idioten nicht. No complaints coming from me. You're okay, girl. Komm her. Friss erstmal was. Ain't worth the trouble. Spenden? Klar, ich bin der Spendemeister. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I show kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> You have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Hmm. My, um... My mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but uh, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But saint -Denis is acting as a staging post. Shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I'd really appreciate it if you take a look. Nice. Ich kann jetzt hier nichts machen, weil ich den Auftrag habe. Okay. Hello, Mister. Hey there, Mister. Hello there. Hello, Sir. Mit der grünen Tür. Vanity, all is vanity. Mensch, hier gibt's ja so viel zu holen wie... Das 
ist ja der Globus. <lacht> naja, ein paar Möglichkeiten haben wir ja noch. Oh, da ist schon mal das Richtige. Wir gucken aber erst uns bei dem nicht richtigen um. Hier ist alles leer. Was ist denn das für ein Laden? Ja, das sehe ich ja von hier. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Nos deja aquí. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. Aber bitte nicht vom Regen die Traufe, ey. friend Arthur Arthur Morgan come on you were right I found these two imprisoned in that shop oh my that's well they are blessed to have met you Arthur trust me in that they're very unusual I don't think they speak much English my brothers come let's go get something to eat manger comida please hey he forgot this oh yes thank you I uh here payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Hmm. Achso, zu der Tageszeit hat er geschlossen. Na, dann warten wir doch hier. Good to see you again. All 
made to measure. <lacht> Traumfinger ist auch klar. Todesrolle. Die sehen gar nicht so schlecht aus, ne? Diese. Oh. Mütze, legendärer Bison. Tall trees, Big Valley, Roanoke. I run this stall just about everywhere. Best way to source the skins. Und einen Bison-Mantel kann ich mal geben lassen. Oh Gott. Ich glaube, sonst habe ich auch gar nichts. Das sieht aus. Desperado. I've run this stall all the way from here to the border. The northern border, that is. And I've never been out of work. Biber, Widder, Wolf. Verstärkte Ausrüstung. Ja. Achso, schließt die Herausforderung in Reit. Ah! Das sieht natürlich noch besser aus, ne? Scheiße, ich hab mir gerade einen neuen gekauft. Den kaufen wir mal, weil wir es können. Ich kaufe mal alles, was geht. Arm. Dann kann ich ja jetzt... Bitte was? Bitte was? Bitte was? Ich wollte die Karte öffnen. Dann kann ich ja jetzt zu Mary Linton. Alter. Tun wir einfach so, als wäre das niemals passiert. <laughs> Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but... 
But surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... than... Than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. <laughs> Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. It all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur. You know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. No, oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. <laughs> so what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But... It has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Wegfindung ist da. What kind of a state he's in? Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady, it's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so demeaned in my life. Apology accepted. 
Oh, I hope wait God. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Good morning, mister. This way. He went around the corner. See why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. <laughs> I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. What the hell are you doing? He just went left down that alleyway. What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not I've his to sell. No, it's I just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself you killed. You don't understand. Nice mother left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. You probably killed someone. Oh, would you like that? Hey, you, Ashton, hold her right there.
Scheiße, ich kann nicht rüberspringen. Leave me alone, it's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Nah. Ich hasse zwar lose Enden, aber. auf der kann ja auch nichts dafür der typ Thank you. Yeah, uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was... Wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? Uh, it'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, <laughs> shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. 
You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. Lim. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> it's sort of beautiful in a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Since Nero himself, do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just starting or not? Are you in a rush, Arthur? Of the greatest show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity: fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Perfect. Oh, 
I see you, you, you love her dulcet tones, right? Klappt yes. doch nicht. She is pure spectacle and I assure you she can charm any beast, any beast at all from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Stop it. Wonderful. Huh? I can't think of anything worse. Yep, yep. Oh, don't burn yourself. Muss Arthur Gas geben. <lacht> oh, enchanting, mesmerizing. She is truly one to bring home to mother. It is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Ja, auch noch.
Richtig gut. Oh, incredible! Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. We flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. Woo! All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. Anyone close to me, well, they wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. More than anything, I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we need money. Soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will, once I get some money. And I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. 